Bill Ross here. And you know, being a uh, martial arts instructor as well as a personal trainer, I have a wide variety of clients that I serve. And you wouldn't think that uh, you know an MMA fighter and a surgeon have some of the same exercise needs. It comes to neck strain. Okay, uh, obviously there's a great deal of neck strain when uh, someone's cranking a choke on you or you're getting your head snapped back from a well-placed punch or kick to the head. But also surgeons have quite a bit of neck problems due to the fact that they're like this and looking at microscopes and craning their necks sometimes for up to 10 hours. You see the complaints I get. So what do we have to do? We have to really strengthen and stretch the neck area. So here are some of the different techniques and routines that I use to help these guys out stretch and strengthen the neck area. One of them is we're gonna put our hands here on our hip and open and close the mouth. Do that 20 times. Other stretches, take your hands, put them behind your back. Go to the side. Side to side, keeping your neck in an even plane. 10 times each side. Same thing here. Ear to ear. Stretch your ear to ear. Ear to shoulder. And then bowing the head back and forth. And open up your mouth. Get that little extra stretch in there. We also have pressure in the head in four different directions. Tilting your head back, pressuring with your palms through the full range of motion. As you count for a count of 10, and back for a count of 10, side for a count of 10, other side for a count of 10. And then we stretch back and forth. Another great exercise to do, taking your right hand, grabbing your left hand at the wrist. Pull your hand in the same direction. Tilt your head to the side. Back view of the other side here, here, and tilt, stretching your trap. It's imperative to keep your ear in line with your shoulder. You don't want to twist or turn it like that. You want to keep everything collinear. But you also notice my posture. Your head is up, your back is straight. Every time we go like this, every inch adds another 10 pounds of pressure onto your neck. Here's another excellent exercise to do. You press yourself up against the wall, take your head, and pressure, pressure, pressure for a good count of 10, and relax. Repeating that 10 times. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, good count of 10, and relax. And do that 10 times. Um, and you can do sets of three. I'm going to show you another exercise that we do that's down onto the floor. So when we're going on the floor in this position here, stack up your hands on your chin. Boxer stretch. Open and close all the way. You want to really open and close that all the way, get that good stretch in that whole area. 20 repetitions. One more exercise we're going to do, and it actually helps the neck as well as the rhomboids. And we're practicing our scapular retraction here. This is the straight arm push-up. Here. And come up. Letting my body come down, my elbows are locked and come up. We start with anywhere from 10 to 20 of those push-ups. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. I look forward to your feedback.